If you Google John Stokes Real Ventures, one of the first things that you will get is I've been referred to as the Gordon Ramsay of Canadian startups. <laughs> um, the accent helps, but I guess it's also because um, I love entrepreneurs and I want them to succeed, but I tell them how it is, how it really, really is. Um, you know what, I've heard a lot of really good stuff coming through from a lot of the VCs today, and you know, I think everyone, I haven't heard an ungenuine word on the stage. I think everyone is a little awkward doing this and turning the tables, but everyone's come up and done it, and I, I, I sort of, I'm thankful that my fellow VCs are willing to do this sort of stuff. But some of them are also just a little too nice, and I think they're a bit too nice in their day jobs as well, because the most valuable thing everyone in this room has got is their time, and I see it as my role to ensure that you don't waste your time. Um, and so I guess I just want to tell you a little bit about how it is. I got up at 4.45 this morning to get on a plane from Montreal where I run a $50 million seed fund with a couple of great partners. Um, I, uh, I flew down there. I'm flying back at 7.30 tonight. And um, I didn't come down here expecting to make a single company that I was interested in, not one. Um, I didn't think I would be interested in any of your products. And uh, I've met half a dozen people, and the only reason I spend any time with you is because I care about your time. I genuinely do like entrepreneurs. I love the spirit, I love the passion, but most of you are gonna go nowhere. And um, all I hope is that you realize that you're going to go somewhere or you're going to go nowhere quicker. That's all I'm trying to do. Um, so why did I come? Because there's always a quid pro quo. The reason I came is because I've invested in 50, 54 companies, me and the partners, over the last six years. We're investing from our second fund. We're about to close our third fund. Um, and I love those entrepreneurs as much as I would love to love you guys, but I also do now love a lot of their businesses because I'm now an investor in them, I'm on the board of them, and I'm passionate and pushing them ahead. And the reason I got up at 4.45 is probably the same reason all the entrepreneurs did here. There's 20 fucking VCs in this room. My job as a seed investor is to work with you to get you from seed to series A within 18 months. That's what I'm focused on, nothing else. And when you hit that Series A readiness, you need to be speaking to many of the VCs here. And you're not going to be able to do it all, so I'm down here to meet them. I'm very willing to give my time to you lot because you deserve it, because you, everyone here could be it, but I don't expect that. But I do expect me to be able to connect with the other VCs. I want to thank you for putting this on because it is all about networking and it's all about making sure you build relationships for the future. Um, if you are interested in pitching us, what do we invest in? We invest in, um, in the entrepreneurs that are building the internet experiences of the future or those that are trying to use the internet to disrupt existing businesses and industries. That used to be a narrow field. Now it touches everything. We really are seed investors. We will invest $50,000, $250,000. But we do have the ability to, once you hit that seed A, to put in some more capital, show our support along it. We can write one, two, three million dollars into companies. Um, we, are, we were voted in 2011 as Canada's um, Venture Capital Fund of the Year by entrepreneurs. It's something we didn't win in 2013. The entrepreneurs got it wrong that year, but we're sure they're going to get it right again this year. And uh, I'll open it up to any questions. Thank you.